What's going on guys, Rob from ClicksGeek, and today I wanted to walk through something really important in Google Ads that a lot of people are having a hard time with understanding on how to use it, how it works, what it is, and that's search impression share, right? This is one of the biggest metrics that we have in Google Ads to determine whether we can scale a campaign or not based on all of our factors that we're, we're advertising in, like our targeted locations, keywords, uh, bidding, etc. So th this is going to be a cool video. I'm going to kind of walk you through my logic on how I look at search impression share and how I use it to scale campaigns. And hopefully you guys can pull some gold nuggets out of this video. All right, everyone, we are inside a client's ad account, right? Google ads account. So to the first thing, I'm just going to go right into it. I'm not going to have any, uh, any fluff in this video. Search impression share, right? So Essentially, let's just get into what it is. First, you'll see it here added in my column. And if you don't know how to do that, you just come up to columns here. Um, modify columns. And you can add it into your ad group level. It's the way you want to look at it. Ad group level search impression share. So you'll see in this client, it, he's only got 27% out of 100 search impression share. So all that really means is for all of his keywords, out of every 100 searches in Google, his ads will show 27 times out of those 100, right? Obviously, the closer you get to 100, the the higher you know you're gonna get more clicks and all that stuff. So you want to be as close to 100 as possible. And it, this also depends on the you know the keywords you're targeting, their search volumes, their in the targeted locations they're in, right? If you're in a small tiny town in the middle of the Poconos and you're running auto glass replacement keywords, I doubt you're gonna have much competition. So you might have 100 percent search impression share with only you know five or six clicks a week. Right. So it really depends on your loca how big your location is, that you're targeting in Google is. But that's pretty much the uh, the quick draw of what it what it really means, how it, how it works. It's out of 100 percent. And you can use this as a metric to scale your campaigns. Right. So right now, this guy, he's at 27 percent search impression share and he's getting. 236 leads a month. So obviously we could triple or quadruple this guy's lead volume based on the availability of search impression share. So we know we can scale this campaign by scaling our, our budget and our CPA, right? We're kind of limited by CPA right now in our, our TCPA. So if he's willing to pay a little bit more for leads, we can scale this search impression share higher, which will in turn drive more leads. So it's a really important metric when looking at if you need to expand your locations, right? Sometimes you'll be into it, like say you're a roofer, right? Or a plumber or any kind of service trade business and say your search impression share is 85, 90, 92, whatever, you're at the top of your market. So you're pretty much, you're bumping up against the ceiling and you're not going to get any more clicks, any more lead flow if you're at such a high impression share amount because you're at the top of your market. So this is a good indicator to look at to see if you you could even get more leads or spend more money without having to expand your locations, right? So that's the other side of this coin is, let's say you are at a 90% impression share and you're just like, no, I need more leads. I can't, you know, my market, I need more leads. So the only way to do that, if you have a very high impression share is either add more keywords, more ad groups. And let's assume that you can't do that because if you've watched my videos, I'll show you how to build the campaigns where you shouldn't have to be able to do that. But that's one way to do it. Add more keywords, add more ad groups. And the other way, the most common way, is to expand your target locations. So that's going to that's gonna give you an immediate new, bigger pool of people that you can pull leads from if you expand your locations, which will, in turn, drop your impression share because now you're going after a bigger market segment. So you'll be able to um, move, move this number up and down based on your target locations. So if, you don't, if you're still confused, on, on, I'm trying to explain it, is like, layman's terms as possible what it is it's, it's very basic like i said but if you just hover over here it's going to tell you it's search impression share impressions you received on google search divided by the estimated number of impressions you were eligible to receive right so remember what i said our example here out of every hundred clicks our ads are showing 27 times for this guy so he's he's ready to scale this guy is ready to scale perfect example of a campaign where we can walk right into it and be like all right let's see if we can even get more leads for this guy Pull up the search impression share, boom. All right, he's in the low 20s, high 20s. We can definitely hit some uh, grand slams here and quadruple that lead volume. So I hope this tutorial helps, guys. Really quick, it's very, you know, it's not a complicated thing, but that's how I use it. That's how our team uses it. 
So we use it as a metric of can we can we scale this campaign or not without going back to the client and be like, hey, listen, you gotta expand your locations. You're hitting the ceiling in Google. Um you know, because most guys don't want to do that, right? If you're a roofer and say you service Philadelphia and we've got you know, which will never happen in Philadelphia, but let's say you got a hundred percent impression share in Philadelphia, ninety percent, whatever, we'd be like, Listen, dude, you gotta you gotta go more. You gotta go wider, you gotta go farther. And they don't wanna drive. They don't wanna service those areas. So that's a it's a good tool to use for campaign audits too in Google Ads. If you're auditing a campaign, you can go in and be like, Hey, listen, like, you know, you're only getting thirty percent of your market. That's that's all that's seeing your ads. Like we gotta we gotta bump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers. <laughs> so um, that's how I use it. Hopefully you guys can find some gold nuggets in this video and apply them to your agency or your campaigns yourself. And um, that's all I got for you today.